Hey guys, you're watching because you want to know me. My name is AJ. Welcome back to the second episode of Prison Architect. I'm already having a bunch of fun with this, and I know this series is going to be totally awesome. Do you have lights in the kitchen? There are no lights in the kitchen. Let's get some lights in the kitchen. It usually automatically places them, but the kitchen is so small at the moment uh, that it didn't automatically make them. Lights. Have a light. You can probably get away with... You can have two lights, you know. We'll have two lights in the kitchen. Uh, in 12 hours, or less than 12 hours, what we got in about 9 hours, we're going to be getting our first two minimum security prisoners in there. We should hopefully be unlocking uh, cell block A pretty soon as well. What do I need? Oh, I need fi unlock finance. Complete. Yeah, I need finance. Okay, for finance, I need to have bureaucracy. For bureaucracy, I need to have a warden. So let's get a warden down. Warden, look at him. Isn't he such a mean looking guy? He requires his own office though. Uh, however, we do have bureaucracy. So while he's doing that, while we're building an office for him, we want finance. Finance is going to unlock cell block A for us. So we can actually get some um, some uh, uh, cells in, individual cells, to bring in more prisoners. But he needs his own office before we can do that. Let's have the offices down here this sort of area. Now, an office needs to be a 4x4 from what I remember. Let's just check because it might have changed. Office, office, office. Yeah, 4x4. Needs an office desk, a chair, and a filing cabinet, and obviously indoors. Let's go with a brick. Uh, a brick foundation here. Let's put it next to the... not next to the road. Let's have it a little bit away from the road so a guard can maybe patrol uh, down here, and a little bit away from the garbage. So, we'll have... Uh, a 4x4 four four interior space would mean a 5x5 five five total room, because it takes... No, 6x6 six six would be a 4x4, four four, right? Yeah, 6x6 six six would be 4x4. Four four. That would be the minimum size for the warden's office. However, since I hit the warden, I'm going to give him an extra couple of blocks. And we need a door. A door on here. Staff door, obviously. I'm going to put the staff door over here. And I want to have... Let's just slow down time for a moment. I want to have a hallway... That's going to be two blocks wide for the hallway with a wall that goes down here. And then I want to have four blocks for an office on the other side. One, two, three, four. That one. One, two, three, four. That one. One, two, three, four. Nine. Yeah, so we're going to have two small offices on this side and the large warden's office on the other side. He's the warden. He should have a larger office than everybody else. And I, in fact, I should really just make it the same size. Just just for the OCD inside me, having buildings of different sizes is going to confuse me. And I'm going to get the power lines going down the hallway. That's going to go down the middle, so it should be able to spread everywhere. We don't need any water out here, I don't think, because then... The, the warden isn't going to have his own toilet, is he? In his office? Maybe he should. Maybe we should put... I don't think they go to the toilet. I don't think off, um, wardens and staff go to the toilet. I don't think, anyway. Uh, we need a door to get in. We're going to go with a staff door. And we're going to go with a double door. So we're going to have one here. Rotate it round. Hello? I can rotate it either way there and there. Hmm, I want the doors to open different ways. I don't want the doors to open the same way. That would suck. <laughs> um, we'll see when it comes in. Oh, prisoner intake in literally like two minutes. Okay, uh, I think we're ready. A oh, holding cell. There's no canteen accessible by the cell. What do you mean there's no canteen accessible by the cell? There's no canteens accessible by this cell. Right here. Canteen's right here. Through the yard. Uh, what do you mean? What do you, what do you mean? Dismantle the tree. Um, what do you mean? It's this not accessible. I don't. It doesn't need to be touching. No chance. It never used to need to be touching. There's no canteens accessible by the cell. It's a canteen right here. It's a canteen, and it's a fine canteen. It's got cooks in it. They're preparing the meal. Rooms. Holding cell. 
There's no canteen accessible by this cell. Uh, there is. I don't think it just hasn't updated yet. Open door. Close. Hello? Close the door. Play? Oh, maybe I wasn't playing. <laughs> close. Oh, does someone have to go to it and close it? Why can't I close... Close that one. Why are they just leaving the doors open anyway? Oh, well, we'll get the prisoners in and uh, we'll find out why there's no canteen accessible here. Um, it makes absolutely no sense to me at the moment. Wool. Uh, go there. Oh no, I built... Oh no, I built concrete wall and brick wall. Brick wall, brick wall, brick wall. And the doors did open the same way. Ah, oh, that sucks so bad. Um, dismantle. I want the doors... We have to find a way to be able to um, flip the doors round, right? There has to be a way. Where's our prisoners? They should be coming in, like, any moment. 1 minute 15 seconds. I'm waiting for the bus. Because there's a really cool thing about the prisoners. If you haven't seen it before, you can read what they're in for. And uh, it's really funny, some of the things that they're in for. Wow, you took so long to dismantle that door. Right. Door. Does it only... Like, like this way I can flip the handle around. But not the other way. Okay, I'm going to just like... Place it once. And if it doesn't place it correctly, we'll flip it round. I'll try it that way. Now if it opens this way, I'm going to be sad. Ah, no. Dismantle. Flip it round. Speed up time. 47, like, seconds. Hold it. Door. One, two. I don't think it's going to make any difference. But boy, it'd be cool to have a double door on there. Ah, it did. It did work. Okay, excellent. Uh, and dismantle. Remove wool. That wool there. Okay. Let's pause it for a moment. We want office in here. Uh, I should have dismantled the wall first. And we need... Slow down time. We need desk. Office desk. To go in. Uh, let's have it down the end here. I think that would be the coolest. Desk. Office. There we go. Make it one big office. We want... Did it place down a desk? Oh, it did, yeah. Uh, chair, just a normal chair. Chair. On this side. And a filing cabinet. Let's put the filing cabinet. Uh, right there. No, up in the corner. There we go, up in the corner. So that's going to be the warden's office. As soon as that goes down, the warden will automatically take it because he'll know that he wants it. Here's our prisoners. Okay, hold on. We've got two, two prisoners. We've got uh, Ishinda, Ish Ishida, Ishida. And uh, Macaulay. So what is Ishida in for? He is 44 years old. Uh, Yuki... Sh Why do they have to put the Japanese name in? I can never remember... I can never say Japanese names. Yusuku Ishida, uh, known as a legendary hacker in Japan, visited the United States on July the 1st, 2011. He was arrested on suspicion of having... Oh, child porn. Whoops. <laughs> no, not the, they're, they're not usually like that. They're usually funny things, not not scary things. Anyway, um, he has done a few years. He's done two years for fraud, one year for dangerous driving, six years for fraud, one year of dangerous driving. He has no family, though. Uh, so that's a sort of a good thing, because if they have family, then they want a visitation room. And we don't have a visitation. We don't have a lot of things here yet. Uh, but visitation room is one of the things that we don't have. So he's only got uh, half a year, less than half a year left. So he'll be going pretty soon anyway. Macaulay, please don't have child porn on your computer. Sentenced for 12 years for multiple crimes, in including gross indecency, gross indecency, and voyeurism. So he also got naked in the wrong place. 
Oh, well. You know, I've played this game many, many times. And there's always funny things like the guy uh, who's a hacker and he hit his boss around the head with a monitor or with a keyboard or crushed his hands underneath a mouse. Not this kind of thing. I'm sorry guys, I can't control who comes in here. It's a little bit embarrassing really. It'll be okay. They'll be the only two that are in for naked related incidences. I do not get can ah canteen. There are no prisoners assigned to eat in this canteen. Room requirement, there is no canteen accessible by this cell. Unless it has to be fenced in. Makes no sense to me, but what if we put a fence going along here and here? That way, there's only one way out. And would that solve the problem? Speed up time. Is he in the warden's office? Warden's office, and he's now researching bureaucracy, so we can then unlock actual cell blocks. There'll be a lot of things that we need to unlock. In fact, we should probably get that all prepared. We'll need to unlock psychology and health. That's what I remember. They're the two things that we're going to need to unlock really, really soon for the medical ward that we're going to be building soon. Uh, we need both of those, I think, for the medical ward, in fact. Okay, that did uncheck them. Look, we now have uh, no exclamation point there. So, basically, you need to have a fence, like a one-way road uh, to get to there. Interesting. Okay, good. I'm now glad that I put this double gate on here. Uh, so, click tick. I've got another delivery. I've got power. It's getting a little bit high. We're going to have to be careful on that. And now that we're here, we can see what our regime is. So for minimum security and normal security, uh, we don't have any normal security. We only have minimum. We only have two minimum, right? We've got two prisoners surviving the next day. Um, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to let another two in. Once we get normal cells, I'll then happily take medium security prisoners. But in a prison like this, I'm pretty sure I could break into it. I mean, we've got two guards, but they ain't nowhere near the prisoners. They're just wandering by the delivery area for some reason. Uh, what's this say? Why is that red? My minimum safe capacity is zero. Excellent. <laughs> my prisoner my, my prison is safe as long as there are zero prisoners around. Uh, I'm going to leave the regime how it is though at the moment. We might give them some more free time uh, later on. Uh, I suppose depending on what they've done. Uh, but we can change normal security and medium security. I think both... They should both be minimum. Yeah, minimum and minimum. Okay, it just put max um, medium on there for, for no reason. And is there anything else in here that we need to look at? Staff, no. Prisoners, no. Uh, intake, you know, I can add another one. We can have three coming in today. I don't want to have any more than five in this little holding cell, otherwise it's going to make them pretty annoyed. Uh, okay, we should grab another grant, I think, now. We have no programs. Why am I, I'm looking, I'm, I've tilted my head to read this. Uh, programs we unlock uh, later on. Uh, it tells you what you need, like, requires education for most of them. Um, but then, it's like things that are going to make the prisoners happier, or maybe cut down their serving time. Administration center, two officers, hire a warden, unlock finance, and hire an accountant. Uh, yeah, we're like halfway through doing that anyway. Uh, so we've got administration center, uh, inmate health and well-being, we should probably get as well. We'll grab those two grants. Okay, so I've already got what's basically two officers already done. We need a brick wall coming down here, and a brick wall going down here. And then we need two doors, staff doors, obviously, getting into that one and that one. And then we need two office desks, two filing cabinets, and two chairs. Rooms, office, office, and office. That'll tick that one off. Unlock, bureauc uh, unlock finance through bureaucracy. That's what we done earlier. He's still doing it. 3 hours and 19 minutes remaining. So then we can hire an accountant. Uh, I don't know what exactly we need the accountant for. I can't exactly remember. I know for loans and tax rebates and stuff like that maybe. And then we need to build a medical ward. Hire at least two doctors and hire a psychologist. Now, the psychologist we unlock through psychology. 
and the doctors we unlock through health which is why I already clicked those two to start researching once he's done with uh, finance so where do we want our medical ward to be I don't want to have it really close to the canteen because we're gonna to want to expand the canteen once we get more uh, more I nearly said customers then they're certainly not customers uh, once we get more prisoners oh yeah this is the size of the area as well we've got quite a lot of uh, area to expand to if we want to uh, so let's have the medical ward well if I expand the canteen I'll probably expand it sort of out this way so I could probably have the medical count the medical zone up here somewhere uh, is there any size let's just slow down to half at the moment uh, no I can keep time sped up because I want to unlock those things nice and quickly uh, is there any limitation on what do we need um, medical infirmary infirmary I need health first um, it has no room size though minimum it just needs to have a medical bed in it okay so we can get that down uh, at least you know now ish so let's have a two block gap around the top of this keep it in line with that other one Keep it in line with this one. So we'll go with a 10 by 10 for the medical ward. That way, we shouldn't need to upgrade it for at least a little while. Uh, for the door, we can just go with a normal door. So the prisoners can get in whenever they need to. We'll have one here. And one here. They will open up the opposite directions as well. And I can't... I don't think I can even put a bed... Yeah, I can't even put a medical bed down yet because I haven't unlocked health. Keep an eye on that... Uh, power level we don't want that to go too high okay they're in yard time at the moment look at all the fun they're having can I get rid of the stump no apparently I can't maybe someone will get rid of it eventually there's just some random wood laying about they're being lazy oh bacon what prison serves bacon man that's a prison that I want to be to oh lock up oh they can't get in lock up unless the there we go another guards let him in oh he's on the toilet look away uh, how close are we to unlocking this now Oh, approved. Finance is approved. He's already on psychology. So, we can now get ourselves a, not there, staff. We can now grab ourselves an accountant. Have an office. There we go. Accountant's office. And uh, we completed the grant. It was the one, the administration center. Yeah. So, uh, as soon as he's done health, we'll be able to stick down all those and get those out of the way. Amazing. Any more grants? Yes. Cell block A. Woohoo! Let's grab that. For cell block A, we need to raise our prisoner capacity to 15 prisoners. And we probably want individual cells for all 15 of those. I don't want to keep this holding cell around for too long. It's just like a temporary or like a... Yeah, it's like a temporary area for the prisoners to go until they have their own cell built. So let's grab that 40 grand. We get 30, 20 of it straight away. 20 of it when we completed it. Sweet. This is where we start looking a little bit more like a prison. I'm going to have cell block A. Um, oh, hold on. We need power going to the... Let's get it in line with that so it's not like totally out of whack <laughs> uh, wiring. Um... We want it relatively near the medical ward, obviously. Uh, we want it relatively near the canteen, but I don't want to put it too close to the canteen because the canteen is going to be expanding pretty soon. Um, if we wanted to expand the infirmary, we can always expand upwards. Let's slow down time a little bit as well uh, while we're doing this. So, uh, concrete base for cell block. I want it not connected to it, but I want it close to here. And we should probably actually do planning first for this. Walls. We're going to want a wall that goes up here and a wall that goes along the front here. Each cell has to be a minimum of two by three internal space. So that. It'll have a bed and a toilet in it. So if we had one here and oops, one there. Okay. And we just copy this pattern all the way down. I know there's a, uh, I, I, or at least I remember there's a copy button. I don't know if the copy button works with plans or not. But uh, as soon as though we're only doing 15 cells, we should be okay. Uh, so we just got to keep doing this until we get to 15. I might as well keep it a square cell block as well. Um, or I could have a hallway down the middle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You know what? And then we'll do 
a uh, hallway. This will be a way in and out. So that will be 11. Oops. 12. Oh, I can't remember. I can't, I've lost count again. <laughs> it's hard to count and place at the same time, all right? Uh, I just want the same amount of cells on this side. One, two, three, four, five little nuggets. One, two, three, four, five little nuggets. So we should have the same amount of cells on either side, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 11, 12, 30, 40, 15, Excellent, and this obviously isn't a cell. This is going to be the way in and out. Uh, it's always a good idea, from what I remember, to have your hallways uh, two blocks wide. Because if you have them one block wide, oh, concrete. If you have them one block wide, uh, I think the prisoners get annoyed because there isn't enough like shoulder room. Uh, from what I remember, at least, into the main cell block, I think we probably want to have a double-sized jail door. Uh, that way, we can, if we do a lockdown. And prisoners aren't going into their cell, they'll at least be s locked into the cell block. Uh, we're going to want to have interior walls. I don't think I can place interior walls until the foundation is done. No. Uh, can I place objects when the foundation isn't done? I can. So, uh, if I just build one cell in both directions, uh, we should then be able to copy and paste it, I think. From what I remember. Have you unlocked anything yet you've unlocked psychology excellent uh hire a psychologist we can do that psychologist have a psychologist office there we go and as soon as health is unlocked we can then hire two doctors and put the medical ward in there but i just can't do that until all right let's speed up time as well it's night time again uh you can dress up your prison really nicely as well with uh, paths and grass and make it look really really nice uh, like it does on my thumbnail it's just gonna it's less important at the moment I don't know if it does actually affect anything I don't know if it makes the prisoners more happy if they have a uh, grass and stuff around them I can't remember if it does affect them or not there we go kapow so there is our cell block in pause I oh, know we don't need to pause we'll be okay concrete wall down there make a cell make a cell now what i do remember though is that prisoners got very upset if they did not have a window so we're going to put a window in all of our cells i know i'm a nice guy right we're going to put a window in all of our cells they get very depressed if they don't have a window there's no sunlight i suppose and stuff like that let's get power going to here as well uh power can come straight off the medical bay and come in there i don't know how far it's going to stretch so i'll just do it to there uh, jail doors also need power and we'll need a bed going here and a toilet in there so we're going to need to have now our uh, water so the way I think that I always used to do the water was I put the water one block away from the wall i think that was like the best way to do it uh things might have changed and i might be wrong but we had it like this and then we have the water small water pipes going to each toilet now if i copy and paste i don't know if it takes the water so i'm just going to put these in straight away that one this one and then this one this one, this one, this one. It's a lot of piping. It's a lot of piping. It's not a cheap job to build cell blocks, which is why some people stay with the holding cell for longer. But we should be okay. So, uh, this should now be a cell. If we do rooms, cell. Uh, there is no canteen accessible. Okay, that's fine. I don't mind that. We can hook it up to the canteen in a moment once everything's done. Now, if I do quick build, clone... Ah, okay, whoops. Yeah, I got it. You had to right-click. Clone. Uh, no. Cancel. Put that there. Yeah, okay, we got it. That one. That one. That one. Oh, our prisoners are coming in. In, in two in-game minutes. There. There. 
and there. Okay, um, we should be okay with five prisoners for the moment at least. Rooms, cell, this way, and we want to have a toilet and a bed there. Ooh, they're coming in. Slow down time. Hold on. We want to get this done first. Cell. Grab that. Cell. 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 Okay, there's 21 cells. All done. Excellent. With loads of money left over. Uh, we should have unlocked doctors now as well. Oh, he's resting. He's tired. Bless him. Uh, education, yes. So we should be able to now grab ourselves room infirmary stick that down and bed medical bed i'm gonna stick down how many do we need like two for the moment two sounds good for the moment and staff two doctors right you wanted yeah two doctors One, two. there you go i've got doctors in uh, builder, oh, I built, oh, whoops, that's an infirmary. <laughs> no, I want medical word, ward. Medical ward. Build a medical ward. Every, oh, why is it? Uh, what's wrong with it? A medical bed. Oh, the medical bed isn't actually in there yet. Although I've, I thought I'd done it right, although it's like ready to go. Um, because the beds aren't in there, it's saying. Uh, not completed yet. That's fair enough. Fence. Let's just, uh, for the moment, hook up a fence to get everything to be working. We go from there, there, and down here. We go up here, and there, and there. That's now hooked everything up, right? We'll have to take away this fence. Uh, demolish walls. And then, bang, we should have ourselves everything all good to go. Our prisoners are going to literally be coming in, like, any moment now. This is not the greatest timing in the world. Not the greatest timing in the world. Here they come. Poof, up here. There, there we go. Uh, I can't see who's on board yet. Not the greatest time as soon as though uh, we don't have the cells, like, set up yet. What? What's wrong with these cells, anyway? Oh, there's... No canteen accessible. Why are you saying that there's no water? Oh, we're missing, like, one more block there. Sure, they'd stick them in the cell that doesn't have water. The only one that has no water. But it's, I suppose it's the only one that has power? What's going on wrong with the powers? Ah, the power doesn't quite reach. Okay, get some more power. Uh, are prisoners off yet? No, they're stuck in the van. Good. And our delivery section isn't quite big enough. Rooms. Delivery. And stick that down there. Then we can get more more vans uh, or more boxes loaded in. Okay, huge amount of work done this episode. That is all I've got time for, though. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. Next episode, we're going to start allowing medium security prisoners into our prison.